Sponsored by Alpha Insurance. And good evening, everyone. Huntsville City FC is riding the Big Mo following last week's victory, which was their first of the regular season in regulation. They look to build on their first win streak tonight down the Parkway. Wicks family feel at Joe Davis Stadium was the site of the HCFC matchup against New York Red Bulls, too. More than 5,100 fans out this evening. Ronald Doncor in the ninth minute is on the receiving end of a pass. Rockets is in for the first goal, and the Red Bulls of New York take a 1 0 lead. Later in the half, Tyler Freeman, the gorgeous set piece free kick. It deflects off of somebody's head and goes into the back of the net, and we are tied at one apiece going into the half. In the second half, in the 70th minute to be precise, tough call for Huntsville. Joey Skinner's call for a foul in the box, received a yellow card, and New York, they take advantage of it. Ibrahim Kasul will convert right here, putting it in the back of the net. Let's check out your final from down the parkway this evening as New York Red Bulls 2 go on the win by final of 2 to 1. ACFC falls to 1, 5, and 3 on the year. They're back at home once again next week. All right, we've got team coverage of tonight's game at the Joe. So let's head down Memorial Parkway, check in with our very own Nick Kuzma, a young man who got a chance to cover his first HCFC matchup. How do things go tonight, Nick? Yeah, my first HCFC match for sure. It was a really good time, really good crowd here. As you just said, Mo, 5,100 people packed the Joe today. In terms of the game itself, though, just going to be a disappointing result for HCFC. If you take a look at the stats themselves, I'll do it right here for you. Possession time in favor of HCFC. Shots, shots on goal, block shots, total passes, et cetera, et cetera. HCFC led in pretty much all those categories, and the difference was they just weren't able to get that break as, as the New York Red Bulls goalie just made good save after good save in the second half, and then the Red Bulls, of course, also got a very, we'll call it, lucky uh, penalty kick there in the second half. But Coach Jack Collison, he doesn't chalk it up to the refs. He doesn't chalk it up to anything like that. He chalks it up to a slow start early. I think you saw throughout the rest of the game how dominant we can be at times, especially second half. We felt we did more than enough, created more than enough chances to get something out of the game and concede a very soft penalty and, and we get punished. So it's a good lesson for us guys. and. Um, we, need, we need to learn and we need to learn pretty fast because it's um, especially here where we've got the fans behind us. We Well, next week, another home match for HCFC. They got another team from the Middle Atlantic coming on down here to the Deep South as NYCFC will be here at the Joe next week. That game will be at 6 o'clock. Reporting live from Wicks Family Field at Joe Davis Stadium, I'm Nick Kuzma, Fox 54 Sports.